Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Hey, today, I told you about it for the last couple weeks. We're gonna be cleaning the flat top, super easy. Everybody's got their own system. I'm gonna show you, because basically as easy as it should be. It should not be difficult. You shouldn't have to have, to have, to have a ton of tools and uh, the know-how. So we just got done filming a video. Basically, uh, burgers, caramelized onions, and bacon on the flat top. The way the flat top looks now, is only for video purposes. I would never suggest to leave your flat top like this at any point. There, there's just no reason. My biggest information to give you guys when cleaning a flat top is cleaning as you go. That's number one. And number two is when you're cooking something, i.e. a vegetable, a steak, uh, proteins, anything. It's all about heat control, okay? Here's the thought process. When you got your flat top cranked on high or even medium and you're cooking and then your product is done on the flat top, there's so much residual heat because this acts like cast iron that when you take the item off of it, there's so much heat that that's when the really and truly the burning happens. If you notice in our video, we can post it right here. We'll post it right here. When we did the chicken teriyaki, that was a, a, a handmade, basically teriyaki sauce brown sugar, soy sauce, garlic, ginger. That is something that's bad for your flat top. That's how it sticks. So how do you clean it? How do you how do you get it go ready for like fried rice or something like that? Well, the point is, is you never let it allow to cool down. Once that chicken was coming off, we're allowed to serve it like on a bowl or something like that. And then you immediately start scraping, okay? The less residue that's on your grill to start cleaning the process, the better off you're going to be. And that's why I say clean as you go. That's number one. Number two, we talked about the whatever you're cooking. Go ahead and shut your flat top off a couple minutes before you think something's going to be done. It allows the intensity of the heat to calm down. It allows the natural juices. Look, here's a perfect example. I'm glad we did this. Obviously, it's a little cold outside. But what is that? Flavor. It is. God, Marty, you hit the nail on the head. That is flavor. But that's natural moisture and juice from the meat, right? You're going to get that from vegetables, from the water. You're going to get that from meat, from the proteins, everything else like that. So if you allow your grill to cool down with your proteins or vegetables on there, then all of a sudden it starts the steaming effect. That's why you see people squirt water on their flat top. There's not many times that I've ever done that. And I honestly say, uh, you're going to have to find the, the in-between. I would not necessarily recommend that. I think that's how hot griddles get warped. You see people on the professional grill tops use ice. We used to do that in the Navy. This is a whole different setup. It's not built for something to shock it that much. If you shock it that intense, this metal, although thicker than most of the stuff you have in your kitchen, can crack and warp and stuff like that. And now you've just wasted a great flat top. So with all that being said, you understand the idea that I'm going for. Okay? You don't have to have all the tricks and tools of the trade. It's all about understanding the food concept that comes on the grill, lowering your temperature before your product comes off, and then getting it clean. So here we go. My grill is completely off. And you see how hard and crusty this is already? This is because it should have never happened. When your grill is warm, let's go and turn it on. We're just going to go low because I don't need it to be hot or anything like that. I just need it to get warm. The heat helps the, the fats and stuff release. Okay? And I think this is where people get in problems when they're trying to clean their grill. They don't clean it enough. Maybe this is better. This is where people get in problems, and I think it's why it's such a chore and so many people are concerned about cleaning their flat top is because they haven't been trained or they haven't learned, I should say, to clean their flat top as they go for each step and to understand the heating aspect. So that's what we're doing now. And here's a little helpful tent, tip, tent. Your uh, diameter for your grease trap is only so big. If you start putting all this debris in there, it clogs up. Next thing you know, you're squirting it down with water or you're scraping your grill clean or something like that. And all that pressure comes down here. 
this is only a small reservoir. There's no place for it to go. It builds up and it overspills. It could spill on your feet. It could spill on your animals or it leaves your deck a mess. So I suggest just having something on the side to help get the food particles off instead of putting them down the, the, uh, the Camp Chef grease trap. All right, see, we've already made pretty good progress as it is. As you guys see me scraping the grill, I did just want to do a quick side note. And I've mentioned it before, I think, in my seasoning uh, video of the, of the uh, Camp Chef. Be careful that when you're using a bench scraper that you're not actually cutting into the metal. Make sure that all sides are connected to your flat top at the same time. So you're not using like a knife method. You're just using it to scrape the stuff off. There's a big difference. You can really damage your flat top uh, surface if you're trying to carve into the flat top. Now that we've got it basically where we want it, people say you go through a lot of paper towels. I agree. What we've developed in our family is a system where I have one wash rag, one dish towel that always comes out here. And the wash rag is rinsed every time we use a flat top with soap and water, then it's rinsed with water. And that would be something I would come on the flat top and just wipe down if there was like extra debris and stuff like that. But since we had something that was fatty, like the burgers, this is how you season your flat top. You use that fat to your advantage. We had the bacon on there. Now we had the beef fat. And anytime you hear somebody about seasoning cast iron, they're always telling you, be careful about what you put into it because you can actually help season your cast iron or you can help season your flat top with just some simple um, proteins, beef, being, beef and bacon being one of them. So there's really not a big reason to add... Um, any type of water or nothing like that. So I'm going to turn all these back on low, which basically now opens the pour of the flat top, opens the pores, okay? Comment below if you guys cook something you're having trouble cleaning your flat top. I, I'm trying to just come up with ideas um, or basically recipes that go on the flat top that people would say, hey, I have trouble cleaning this. I put something on there, it sticks, cleaning it or whatever. I think just think there's a lot more information that needs to be said about cleaning the flat top versus literally just putting food on there, saying you wipe it off and clean it. Because if you learn how to control your temperature, then um, everything else will run its course. So we just got done with our uh, pork chop dinner. And as you can see, there's not really anything sticking, and that's what it's all about. If there was, I would scrub it a little bit. There's no reason why you can't add a little water. Obviously, just be careful because that will, the steam will come up. But this is really, I mean, it's so clean already. So you guys see how much natural oils, everything from the butter, the avocado oil, we didn't even use the olive oil, but all that is just basically seasoned. You're just gonna treat it just like cast iron. Take a good paper towel, wipe it down. See that? A lot of that's not even food debris. A lot of that's just the seasoning that comes off of it on and off. And that's the process. It's a, it's a ebb and flow of seasoning. That's why people will say that you have to re-season it. Yeah, you do. It's all about... the maintenance. More than anything. All right, so now that's done. I do like to take a little bit of oil. Okay, be careful. Remember, the sides are hot and just rub down your outside. And that's it, clean flat top. Ready to go tomorrow. All right guys, so this is like the third part of me cleaning the flat top. Now this is where we'd normally edit this stuff out. So I literally have not even finished one video 
And so what I'm doing is just using my bench scraper, okay? My flat top is off. We use brown sugar, we use soy sauce, we use sesame oil, we use sweet chili sauce, garlic, we've used oil and ginger, okay? So what I'm telling you is, it really doesn't matter what you put on it. It's about how you clean it as you go. My biggest thing to you guys, and my last point that I'm gonna hit on, is just move your stuff off the heat, okay? Turn your flat top off. Don't let it just continue to cook and burn the sugars and change the, 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 uh, the flat top itself. If you need to, move your food over, give it a couple good scrapes, just like this, and then move your food back over if you notice there's a lot of buildup, okay? This helps keep your flat top clean. So when you go back to cleaning it for the final time, it's so much easier. All right, my flat top's on low. I've got everything pretty much clean. I'm just gonna go back. You guys know I love my avocado oil. Just do a nice little dupe to dollop. And I know you're thinking, you put all that oil on there to begin with, with the bacon and the beef fat, and you wiped it all off, but trust me. As a rust prohibitor, plus it fills in all those little bitty cracks and crevices and all that stuff. Make sure you get the sides. And even with your damp thing, the outside of it, even underneath here. Okay? We're gonna leave it on, ho on low, just for a minute or two. And that's it, that's how you clean the flat top. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound that notification button, show somebody this video that needs to learn how to clean the flat top, make it look like this. If I can do it, you can do it. Peace.